a very good afternoon to you guys out there in YouTube land. It's a beautiful Sunday morning up here in Northern California. I'm sitting around this morning wondering what to do and I figured, you know what, let me share my new V4 magnetic powered piston motor. Yeah, it's not really a pulse motor, it's more of like a solenoid kind of a coil, solenoid coil kind of configuration. But this is it. Um, it's got four, four coils, two rotors, four pistons, four, four of everything. I mean, all the rotating assembly, four of it. It's, um, uh, of the two cranks are 180 degrees off. Which means that when this crank and these two pistons are at the furthest portion down of the coil, the other two are at the highest. So the other two on the other side would be like that. At the same time when this one is way down here. Okay. So now this is so cylinder number one. Um, no, beg your pardon. Cylinder number... No, yeah, that's right. So cylinder number one, four, three, two. So the way well, I just, I don't know, kind of goofy. Anyway, the firing order is kind of funny too. Firing order is, this hall sensor right here is associated with cylinder number one. So when that hall gets that, the magnet, you know, the, the FET fires, coil fires, sending this around until this magnet gets uh, gets around to this position down here to where this hall sensor is. That hall right there is this, for this coil, which is number four. So fires number one, then number four, and number four fires, keeps firing until that last magnet gets over the hall sensor. And we swap it around and of course this rotor is going to go the opposite direction because it's on the other, other side. So now this magnet comes to this hall sensor which is hall sensor number three for this coil, this one here. And then it fires driving this forward until the magnet of course gets down to here where cylinder number two fires. Bam. That's it. Uh, one four three two. One four three two. One four three two. It's firing order. So Very interesting. Uh, you know, a simple kind of a project, but you know, still fun to make. Still challenging. You know, to uh, get all the components made, like like those um, the rod journals. All four of those assemblies. Come on. Come on. All four of those assemblies are full bearing. And say each each one of them has bearings. Each rod has has its own bearing. Ball bearing. Um, that's and the circuit is pretty simple. It's basically the same circuit I've been using for most all my other motors, um, pulse motor stuff, um, hall sensor fets, uh, arrangement kind of a deal. But that's it. Kind of fun, not expensive, you know. Most of this crap was just laying around in the garage. You know, I think the only thing I had to buy that I didn't already have was enough copper to wrap these big coils, you know. And uh, let me show you how it works. Get this thing some voltages. 
contact. Yeah, it idles right there at about 125 RPMs. Let me show you how this thing looks like. Let's give us some more voltages. Six hundred and sixty seven. That's a lot of reciprocating parts, you know, um, <laughs> and it's not made, you know, in a machine shop, it's made out in the garage, so it's kind of rough, but it works good, you know, it was fun project, and it does what I wanted to do, which is just explore and learn how to apply circuits to different types of arrangements, you know, uh, mechanical arrangements. Um, this was just one other aspect of much of the stuff I've been doing for the last year, watching stuff on YouTube. Just having fun, learning and growing. So, thought I'd share this little project with you. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, you guys have fun and uh, it'd be good. So I'll catch you guys next time.